beautiful welcome back to Nat's beautiful life today I'm gonna to be doing my May favorites and I don't have a super lot of stuff but I am uh, pretty confident that the things that I have are pretty good so let's just get started uh, the first thing I want to talk about is um, a sunscreen simple enough and that is this is the Neutrogena hydro boost water gel lotion and I've been using this for either if it's just a quick little day or if I'm going to the gym or something I'll use this as my moisturizer and everything because it does have moisturizing properties to it like skincare um, but I will put this on almost every day pretty much every day and then I'll throw like a, a moisturizer on top of it and it's just really good I feel like my freckles are not growing so much and I feel like it's really been protecting my skin plus I've been very good about wearing a hat if I'm going to be out in the sun a lot um, the next thing I believe I mentioned this last month but I gotta shout this out one more time it's the Clarins Beauty Flash Bomb I know I said that I probably wouldn't get a full size after this was over because it's suspensive like nobody's business but I've been noticing how my makeup looks towards the end of the day after using this and and obviously when I first do it and but it it just looks so moisturizer and moisturizer <laughs> moisturize and I am so dry under here that I'm just like yes worth every penny and I love it um, and then I also mentioned last month the Too Faced Hangover RX which is a moisturizing one so in quick days um, I'll use that one and because it's not quite as expensive <laughs> and it works really well as well so really loving those for hair I've got a couple of things and one is by Bumble and Bumble it's the hairdressers invisible oil now the first time I used this I went overboard because I was thinking oil because when I put oil in my hair I really just throw that bad boy in there you know I will after I wash my hair I'll take some oil in my hand and then I'll run it through there and then I'll let it kind of dry in there and so I was thinking this would be the same thing oh no it's not and I don't even know let's see it's kind of a milky consistency if you can see that so no and I overdid it my hair looked really frizzy until I straightened it but then after I straightened it it was like super soft and nice and it even seemed to dry quicker I don't know maybe I'm nuts but I was like I'm gonna return this because I don't want to deal with this but then I was like you know I'm gonna give it another try because the thing that really stuck to me was it has um, the UV protectant on it and since I am outside a lot I wanted to be sure my hair color <laughs> was protected and wasn't gonna fade so I was like I'm gonna try this again so seriously just a couple of sprays on the like two three sprays at the most on the top and then maybe I'll hit it on the bottom and yeah your blow dry is quick I don't know what magical fairy dust is in here but your hair will dry quicker but it does it keeps it from getting it seems frizzy when it's drying but once you add the heat to it it calms it down I don't know it's mystical but this has been pretty good one that I'm kind of on the fence about is the dry bar sparkling soda shine mist I used this one day when I was in I was at Sephora for the the sale and I was wanting to try some shiny things and I was actually wanting to try something maybe from dry bar or bumble and bubble and just kind of treat myself with this expensive stuff and every time I had used it when I was in Sephora and every time I walked by a mirror I just was taken aback by how shiny my hair was it was a little bit longer than two it was just so shiny and just like had life and so I was like I'm gonna get some of this stuff and it's like I still use it but I don't know I feel like it still has that shine but it's almost like it almost smells and feels powdery and it's obviously not a I don't know but I still use it it smells amazing so still on the fence about it but I will let you know what my final verdict is if I ever get one but moving on to other things okay this is weird I'm gonna just grab this over here 
I have found um, some socks and they are <laughs> so tiny. Yeah, I have tiny feet. They're not quite this tiny. You just you put them on. But they are no show socks and they're from the, I think they're Thieves. I will put it down below. And it was so funny. It looks like there's a little bee, but it's actually a little mask because the packaging has a bear with a mask on it. So get it, Thieves. But these are the sports socks. I, I'm just very funny about socks because I have reactions to all kinds of different materials and these socks don't make me like gross. I don't know. It's hard to explain. All I know is that I really love these socks. They stay on and they even have like little, um, like little grippy things to keep them in place. But the other ones, and these are these are so big. This is the reason why I can't wear Converse. I have a pair of Levi's that look like Converse, but they fit. Converse are always too big for me. It doesn't matter what size I grab. I will try every size, and they're always too big. But the Converse socks <laughs> are still big, <laughs> but they, they're they made for the Converse, so they have that, that upper. So if you're wearing tennis shoes and you want to have something all the way up to the laces but where you won't see them these are great and um, because they are big they kind of come up a little bit further on the back of your heel and they're amazing so if you want some no-show socks that are actually comfortable the Converse socks and the Thieves socks are awesome let's get some shoes so one of my favorite pairs of shoes this month have been my red Pumas these are the first pair of Pumas that I've ever had and they are so flipping comfortable. I was looking for some red shoes and I was thinking like red Converse type shoes or um, even Adidas red, but I was walking through a store one day and these just like went to my eyes and I was like, ooh, because I wanted this kind of red. I didn't really want a burgundy, though that might be nice, now. but I wanted just like a bright red shoe and mm, they're amazing. They're so, I can't even express to you how comfortable they are. Like, I would rather wear those than like anything. They're just so comfortable. Check them out, Puma. Never had any Pumas before. Love them. Last thing, I was looking for a bag that was maybe a little bit bigger than the one I was carrying. So the last What's in My Bag video I did, that bag holds like so much it's like a Mary Poppins bag it's so tiny but I wanted something just a little bit bigger and I was at Dillard's I want to say and actually this isn't my last thing I have one more thing after this maybe two anyway uh, so yeah they had a sale going on and I found this Kate Landry bag it looks I think a little bit bigger on camera it's not quite as big but I love that it has a handles and I love that it has the crossbody and it's just got the little detailing on it and it's just so nice and roomy and it's I don't know it's just nice for summer and I'm really really been loving it and it holds a lot last couple of favorites my anniversary was the 23rd of May and so my husband and I went shopping and I had wanted a piece from Kendra Scott and I have a hair right there on my chest um, but I wanted a piece from Kendra Scott and I don't know I just wanted something just as like a starter piece and I want to be able to add to it as it goes but we went to the the store and a lot of the stones I was liking I was like do you have this in silver and they actually have something called a color bar there so you can actually pick out your setting and then they'll have stones out and then you actually custom get your necklace or earrings or whatever and that's what we did so this is my little custom necklace that I got from Kendra Scott I'll put a little bit close-up of it in the corner there but it is so cute and it is made to be like a choker like up here and I like to layer it and you can wear it both ways like boop or this way but um I like to layer it with a longer necklace as well so I think the next time I go I want to get one of the longer necklaces that Kendra Scott has they are beautiful I actually had gotten one in gold for my mom with her birthstone in it that was longer and you can adjust it and make it short or anything 
they're really pretty. Um, but I want to get something like that to layer with it. But I've been layering this a lot. I bought the extender, so that's why it's a little bit longer right now, just for everyday wear. So yeah, I've really been loving this. It's just very great quality, and, and I just enjoy it a lot. Last thing, book favorite of May. I read seven or eight books, or I finished seven or eight books in May, and I absolutely just had some good stuff, and I had some meh stuff, but June's been pretty good so far, and I'm excited to share with you those things, but the favorite book, the standout that I just couldn't put down was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Now, this woman is not a moral, good, like, woman. She's not a horribly bad woman, but she's not, like, like, you shouldn't pattern your life after Evelyn Hugo. But, um, the book was so good because it just kept you engaged and you couldn't wait to turn the page. You had to start the next chapter. It was so full of just read the book, okay? It's not for young people or children or anything like that, but it's just like, it's it's eye-opening and wow. So really great writing and I can't wait to maybe read something else by this particular author because this book was it was. <laughs> so that's it for my May favorites. I will be filming a TBR and some other things with booky stuff pretty soon. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the little bell. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, gorgeous.